Hi, I'm JD, and what we're going to be doing today is writing these circle problems into standard form of an equation for, well, circle, because I just mentioned circle. So I put two problems on the board. One has a center of 0, 0, and the other has a radius of 5. Well, radius of 5. And the other circle has a center of negative 2, comma, 3 in a radius of six. So if you would, pause the video and see if you can try these on your own. All right, so hopefully you pause the video. Now, the key thing to know this, the key thing in this problem is that you need to know what the standard form is of an equation of a circle. And that is x minus h squared plus y minus, I was say two, we don't know what the, k squared equals r squared, radius squared. hk is your center, and your r your, is your radius. Now, if this looks familiar, somewhat familiar, it should be. You can actually take the distance formula to derive the equation of a circle. I'm not going to do that here, but maybe perhaps in another video. But here, it's just a matter of plugging things in. HK is your coordinates for your center. HK. Notice that this is with the X. This is the X coordinate. Your K is with the Y, right? So that's your Y coordinate. Your R is simply your radius. So then you just plug these in. You have K minus zero squared plus Y minus zero squared. And then your five is gonna be five squared for your radius. Then you can simplify if, if possible, if the simplification is going to be a little drawn out, like you have to FOIL and everything, you can just leave it in standard form. But here it doesn't really matter. It's x minus 0 is, yes, x. So it's going to leave you with x squared plus what's y minus 0? Yeah, it's just y. So that would be y squared. And 5 squared is, yes, 25. So your answer to the first one, if you could see it, is x squared plus y squared equals 25. Now for the next problem, you have a negative sign over here. So be careful of negative sign, especially if it's multiple choice. If it's multiple choice, they're going to switch the signs around to kind of confuse you. And it might look right, but you're going to have to double check the signs. So here you're plugging again into this equation. So that's going to be x minus, and what you can do to, so that there's not any confusion is that you can put this negative 2 into parentheses. So it's negative 2 parentheses squared plus y minus, and this is your k, so that's 3 squared equals your radius, which is 6 squared. And then simplify a little bit. A double negative gives you a plus. So that's going to be x plus 2 parentheses squared plus leave the y squared, or sorry, the y is the same. And then what's 6 squared? Yes, 36. And that's it. It's pretty straightforward. All you have to do, don't make it more complicated than it is, is just simply plug in the missing information. So you need your center, which is HK, and then you need your radius, which is always given. H is your x-coordinate, and your K is a y-coordinate of the center. And that's it. 